Today, we're going to be showing you the complete beginner's guide on how to use Apple AirPods. This video contains everything you need to know on how to become an AirPods expert and to make sure that you are using them to their maximum potential. Let's get started with the complete beginner's guide on how to use Apple AirPods. So now that your AirPods are out of its package, let's go ahead and connect it to your device. So for an Apple device, this is really easy. The one thing you need to make sure you have on is your Bluetooth. So you can go into your settings, go to your Bluetooth tab, and then just toggle that Bluetooth button to on. Or a faster way of turning your Bluetooth on is just swipe down and open up your control center and then toggle this Bluetooth button to on here. Once your Bluetooth's on, all you need to do is just open up your AirPods case. And as long as you're using an Apple device, it's going to show up here. I'm already connected, but if I wasn't, a connect option is going to appear right here. And then you'll just click connect and it's automatically going to connect you to your AirPods. Now, say you're not using an Apple device and you still want to connect to your AirPods. That's no problem at all. They'll connect to any Bluetooth uh, device. So you'll just go into your device's settings, go to Bluetooth, and then what you'll have to do if it's not an Apple uh, product is hold down this small button on the back of your AirPods case here. And once you start holding that, you'll see the white light in here in the case is going to start to blink. And that's how you know it's searching uh, for a Bluetooth connection. And then it will just show up on your Bluetooth settings menu and you'll be able to connect it manually that way. One of the amazing functionalities about these AirPods is that they're, the headphone case is actually a portable charger. So you charge the case and then every time you insert your AirPods into their case, they're going to be charging in the background. So say you're out and your headphones die, you can just put them into your case which have a much longer battery life and they'll recharge without this connected to a power source. So to go about charging your AirPods case is they are compatible with wireless chargers. So in that case, you would just lay your case flat down on the charger and it'll automatically connect. But if you're using a manual charger, you just insert it to this input here. And you'll notice that when I plug in my charger to my AirPods case, this light here is going to hold at a strong amber color to indicate that it is connected to a power source. So this status light here has a few meanings. When it's green like so, that means that it's fully charged. If it was to sit amber, that means that it's low battery and it has less than one full charge remaining on it. If it's flashing amber, that means that it needs to be uh, reconnected to a device manually by holding this back button. And if it's flashing white, then that means that it is currently searching for new devices to pair with. Now I'm going to show you how you can check how much battery you have remaining on your AirPods and your AirPods case. So if you go to connect your AirPods and open up the case like so, you'll see on this menu that appears, it's going to tell you how much charge you have on your headphones and how much charge you have on your AirPods case. If you want to be able to check uh, the charge of your AirPods right from your home screen, I'm going to show you how to put in it, put in a custom battery widget. So to add any widget to your home screen, just go ahead and hold down on any application. And in this menu, select edit home screen. Once you have that selected, you'll see this plus icon in the top left corner of your screen will appear. Click that, whoops. Click that and then search right here for batteries. Once that shows up, you'll see you have three options. You can do this small icon or small widget, medium or large. Uh, for this video, I'll do the large one. So just click add widget and you'll see it now appears here. You can go ahead and move it anywhere on the screen or you can slide it over to a different page. But once you have it where you want it, just click done. And now you have this battery widget right on your home screen. Now, once you get your AirPods connected, Now you're going to see that not only do my AirPods case shows up, but it's also going to tell me how much battery life I have in each separate headphone. So it shows me the battery on my left headphone as well as the battery on my right headphones. So this is a great way to set up your iPhone home screen just so you can always and quickly be able to check how much charge you have on your AirPods, your AirPods case, and also your iPhone. So that's how you go about setting up a battery widget. 
Now I'm gonna open up my settings application, go to the Bluetooth tab, and then for these AirPods, I'm gonna click this info button right here, and now I have access to all of these different settings for my AirPods. So the first one is going to be the name that appears on my Bluetooth menu. So if you wanna change the name associated with your AirPods, click this right here, and then you can type in whatever you like. For example, I'll do my AirPods. Just type that in. But you can put your name or label them however you would like. Uh, and you just do that by clicking on that name tab there. This next one, double tap on AirPod, is a really cool gesture that we can use uh, for both our left and our right AirPod headphone. So when you double tap on either uh, AirPod, you can have your phone automatically do any of these options. So you can have a double tap on your left AirPod, uh, access Siri, play or pause a track, switch it to a, the next track, go back a previous track, or shut that automation to off. I'm actually gonna set my left one to play or pause a song. And then for the right one, I'm gonna have that set up for Siri. I'm gonna show you in a little bit all of the different commands that we can have Siri do for our AirPods uh, because there's a lot of great options for using Siri with our AirPods. So I'm gonna turn that one on for my right headphone and then I will leave play and pause on for my left AirPod. Again, all you'll do is while your AirPods in your ear, just double tap on the side of it and it's going to automatically do whatever automation that you set up on this settings menu. The next one is automatic ear detection and I definitely suggest you have that leaved on. What automatic ear detection does is it allows your AirPods to realize when they're in your ear and when they're not. So when you take an AirPod out of your ear, it's going to automatically pause the audio and transfer your volume to your phone. And right when you put that AirPod back in, it will resume that audio coming out of your AirPods once again. The last setting I wanna go over from our Bluetooth menu is this microphone setting tab here. So open that up and you'll see you have three options. And what this setting controls is which AirPod is collecting audio uh, while you're recording any audio. So you get to choose if you want your microphone to be enabled on your left AirPod, right AirPod, or you can choose this automatically switch AirPod setting. So this setting is the one I suggest for most people because it's going to constantly switch the microphone between your left and the right depending on whichever one is getting the clearest and highest quality audio. If for whatever reason you like to record strictly on your left AirPod or your right AirPod or you're commonly working with only one headphone in, then you can just control which AirPod is going to be the active microphone by just selecting either of these settings here. But for most people, I suggest you turn on automatically switch AirPods. That way you know you're always getting the highest quality audio that's possible. Now we can leave our Bluetooth settings tab here and go down to where it says phone. Once you pull that up, you'll see there's this announce calls settings tab here. And from this announce calls tab, we can actually activate, set it up so that our AirPods announce whenever a phone call's coming in, it's going to tell us who the caller ID is, what their contact name is, or if it's an unknown caller, it will read out the phone number to you. Now this can be a really uh, handy setting that you want to turn on because if your phone you know, is put away and a call is coming in, you're going to know exactly who is calling you and if you want to answer it or not. You can also set this up so it always announces calls even when you're not using your AirPods or when you're using a Bluetooth uh, car setting, you can set it up for headphones and car. I'm going to leave mine on headphones only. Uh, so that's how you go ahead and set up your AirPods to announce incoming phone calls. This next feature I'm going to be showing you is one that you hopefully never need to use, but is super helpful in case you ever do lose your AirPods. And this is Find My AirPods. So I'm sure you're familiar with Find My iPhone. What you may have not known is that you can actually use this Find My iPhone application to locate any lost AirPods. So Find My is an application that's automatically installed onto your phone. So you can either find it on your home screen or just use the search bar uh, to open up the Find My application. Once that's open, you'll see your AirPods will show up under the name that we set up earlier in our Bluetooth settings. So you can go ahead and find that from your listed devices. 
Now it's going to show up on this map, the last place that you had your AirPods connected at. So this will show you the address of where that was. You also have the ability to play a sound off of those AirPods, assuming there's some charge left on them. So if they're ever in say the same room and you just can't locate them, you can have it play this beeping noise, which will help you find those AirPods. You can even click on that device and it will give you step-by-step -step directions on how to get to the location which they were last connected at. Again, hopefully you never lose your AirPods, but if you do, just open up your Find My application and it is a super helpful feature for locating those lost AirPods. Earlier in this video, I showed you how we can set up a double tap command on either of our AirPods to open up Siri. Since our AirPods are enabled with a microphone, we don't have to take out our actual iPhone to speak to Siri. So just through our AirPods, we can ask Siri questions like, what's the weather like today? Or things like, can you read out my last text message? Or play or pause a track? Or fast forward a track? Uh, but I just wanted to remind you that you can speak to Siri directly from your AirPods without taking out your iPhone. Now, since you do only get to set up two different commands for the double tap feature, one for each AirPod, I also wanted to tell you that if you have the Hey Siri feature set up on your iPhone, you can actually just speak Hey Siri with your AirPods in and it will activate Siri without using your iPhone. So you don't need to set up that double tap feature. You can just use Hey Siri and you'll still be able to access the Siri feature using your AirPods microphone. This next AirPod feature is one almost nobody knows about and it is a powerful feature that can be used for either good or evil. So please use this feature responsibly. So this is gonna be a hearing feature that we can turn on on our control center. So to do that, once your AirPods are connected, go to your settings and then just go to the control center tab. You can either find it through all your settings tabs or just search, search for it uh, in the search bar like so. Open that up and you'll see if you scroll down to the more controls options, you will find this one called hearing. Turn that on by hitting that plus icon and now it will show up in my control center. So now I can go back to my home screen, open up my control center and you'll see this ear uh, icon right here on the bottom right corner of my control center. When I click that, what it's going to do if I turn the live listen to on is I can leave my phone in any room or any location and using the microphone on my, on my phone, it's going to be recording any audio it hears and then replaying that live on my AirPods. So all you do is you click this, you turn live listen to on and it's going to record all audio that my phone hears uh, using my phone microphone and it's automatically going to transmit that audio to your AirPods. I hope you found today's video valuable. This was the complete beginner's guide on using your Apple AirPods. Let us know down in the comments what your favorite part of this video was. And if you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel for more great content coming soon. I also want to encourage you to sign up for our free email newsletter, AppFind VIP, using the link in the description. With AppFind VIP, we are going to be sending you our favorite mobile apps and mobile games directly to your email inbox. Thank you for tuning in and I hope you have a great rest of your day.